I always kind of hoped that one day, you know, it would be a reality that you could be a professional footballer and be a woman. <laughs> I don't really think anyone kind of expected me to take this path. Ooh. When I sit here, you know, I kind of have to pinch myself. When I fell in love with the game, we didn't actually get given footballs or, or much really equipment to play with. So we started playing with like bottle tops and just hitting them off the wall and scoring goals that way. I had to play with boys predominantly growing up because there wasn't many opportunities for young girls to play. There was no real pathways in place or anything like that. Playing against other boys, that's when you kind of had the prejudice that you were a girl and you weren't meant to be as good as, as anyone else. I like to bash into the boys and I like to knock them down and they kind of, it kind of turned heads a little bit. We've got the game to a level now for them young girls that are coming through and they have opportunities now which obviously weren't in place back then. We were playing a qualifier. I took kick off and within 11 seconds the ball was in the net. And then it was only after the game that, you know, my phone started buzzing and everybody, all the statisticians came out and they were saying that this is the fastest goal that's been scored in international history. Still got work to do, but I've got to be so proud of how far we've actually come. We have a responsibility to, you know, keep pushing the game so that them young kids that are coming through now, they have female role models to look up to and they have the opportunities and the pathways there to get into the professional game. If you want to, you can carry on playing football and make a career out of it. We're just someone who can help them and, and be someone that they can look up to. I would definitely say just work hard every single day and make sure you enjoy it. Play with a smile on your face. Play it because you love it, really. I was just that normal girl from the council estate that, that managed to now become Everton captain and play at the highest level. There's definitely opportunities out there, you know, you just need to work hard and stay committed to it. Together we will create an equal playing field.